Hello, my channel, my name is Perez, and today we're playing Tekken 8. This is by far gotta be the best Tekken entry in the series. I know I might have already said that, but hey, I'm just literally just stating a fact at this point. The customization that is in this game is absolutely incredible. In the online games that I have played already, so many people have gotten so creative with how they customize their characters that honestly, it just makes me want to hop into the customization tab, which I'm already hovering over right now, and just try my luck with customization. You still have to play the game in order to get coins, which you can use to get all of your customization items. But on the flip side, you don't have to pay a single actual dollar just to get other items. Anyway, so right now I'm just going to be customizing two characters and I'm going to be having them clash in an online, not an online, a CPU versus CPU battle. And before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss out on a video or a live stream. And if you would like to support the channel even further, check out buymeacoffee.com. The link will be down in the description box below. And now let's get started. So for the very first character that I'm going to be customizing, I'm going to be customizing Alyssa only because the character that I'm going to try to create or the quote unquote waifu that I'm going to be remaking is somebody who, when you think about it, makes a lot of sense with the Alyssa model. And that would be 2B from the Nier Automata series. Plus it also helps that I have a very good reference material, literally right in front of me. I'm not kidding right now. This is the only thing that I have to reference with at the moment. But don't sleep on these mouse pads because surprisingly enough, they provide very good wrist support. First things first, we gotta take a look at the hair. I'm still debating on whether or not it's this version or if it's this one that I really want. Pretty much the same thing. The only thing that we're literally just going to be doing is changing the color from uh, standard dark to silver. So we're just going to stick with this here first one. Okay, next up we're changing the color. So we're just going to go with a basic gray. I know it's technically not the... On second thought, I feel like this one might be a little bit better. We're going to stick with this one. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, everything else. Only because we are going to be covering uh, her eyes with some type of uh, headband. How did I not see that? Literally right close to the bottom is a headband. And it matches perfectly with the color. She already looks like 2B uh, full on with the face. Alright, we're getting the blindfold. Just to play it safe, I think I'm just going to stick with the default. Because I don't want to spend too much, but I'm going to be changing the color. I'm just going to customize what I can to make it black and silver. Going for that. Going for that. And... It doesn't look like that. Okay, this is really isn't looking all that great. Okay, so I'm just going to take a gamble and just purchase the Tekken 7 style. We're going to change everything from uh, white to black. Okay, this one so far is giving me a better result. So we've got that one. I know that she technically has a few other accents, but this was just so I could see how everything would look. White. Eh, maybe a little bit. There we go. How did that? Nah, that's not really what I want. Maybe a bit more of a silver color. I guess that can work. I think for that, we're just going to go with this uh, skin like color. I think this is it. I think this is the closest that I'm going to get to recreating 2B in uh, Tekken 8. It's going to go ahead and save this and move on to the next character. So next up, we're going to be customizing Reyna. And the character that I'm going to be trying to create with Reyna is Kugisaki Nobura from the Jujutsu Kaisen series. The reason why I'm doing this is because the voice actress for Nobara also voices Reina in Tekken 8. I really wish I had some reference images so that I could at the very least do, well, get it as accurate, but my phone is literally charging away from me. So I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, this bottom, I guess, light brown color? color? I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna, keep everything default on this, the rest of this as well. Only because I cannot remember for the life of me uh, any of the other accents that Nobra has. And that's sad too, because Nobra is my favorite character in Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like this one could work. Although, I think the uniform that she wears is a long sleeve, not a short sleeve. Maybe this one? I know that the uniform doesn't have those frills. Uh, I'm just gonna keep looking. I'm gonna try this one out. The uniform is dark blue, so... Uh, no. Although it really isn't too bad. 
Yeah, this one's got a lot more details that I'm gonna have to change. It's a little better, but nah. So I decided to go back to this button up, and instead of doing the whole blue thing, the closest color that I could find was the dark purple uh, that's close uh, to the same row where I selected the blue. All right, moving things on, we're gonna be doing the lower body and we're gonna be doing the skirt. This one should be pretty straightforward. It's literally just a mini skirt with a belt, but I think this pleated skirt might be a little bit better. I mean, we're getting there. So for the last piece of the outfit, I'm pretty sure this isn't entirely accurate, but I'm just gonna stick with the default loafers with the stockings on it. All in all, this is the closest uh, depiction that I have. And, well, it's somewhat okay, but I feel like I could have done better with her. All right, now I'm just gonna save her and then I'm gonna have these two characters just duke it out. To be really wiped the floor with Nobara. <laughs> this was a lot of fun, even though it did require a lot more uh, brainstorming. I feel like it could have done better if I had good uh, references instead of just trying to wing it. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you have any suggestions as to who I should be making, please let me know in the comment section down below. And with that being said, this is San Diego Shooting Star signing out.